Hey everyone, and welcome to this month's look at some of my favorite projects released using the Unreal Engine. I've created these videos to help get some eyes on indie or small team projects and to show that Unreal can and is used for more than just super high fidelity, 8K million dollar content. I'll try to keep the projects I cover to be as recent as possible, but to avoid restricting the type and quality of content that I cover, I may at times be covering some gems from the past. Links to the games and relevant socials where possible will be in the description below. And if you've released a game or project that you'd like me to take a look at that you think I may have otherwise overlooked, then be sure to leave a comment below and let me know, as well as letting me know if there's anything else that you see here that you'd like to see more of. To get started then, and in no particular order, number five, we have Ruiner. Ruiner is a cyberpunk-inspired top-down shooter that has captured the hearts of many gamers worldwide. Developed by Raycon Games, the game is set in a futuristic metropolis called Rencock, plagued by crime, corruption, and violence. You play as a highly skilled solitary warrior who embarks on a mission to take down the corrupt megacorporation, Heaven. One of the standout features of the game is its stunning visuals. The neon-lit cityscape of Rencock is beautifully rendered and creates a dark, gritty atmosphere that perfectly captures the cyberpunk genre. The game's art style features detailed character models, intricate environments, and a range of enemies that you'll encounter throughout the game. In addition to its breathtaking visuals, Ruiner offers tight and responsive gameplay that's both challenging and rewarding. As you progress through the game, you'll unlock an array of futuristic weapons and abilities, which you'll need to master in order to survive the game's intense combat encounters. The game also features various upgrades which allow you to customize your character and tailor your playstyle, and it's worth noting that Ruiner has a strong narrative that's told through its impressively executed cutscenes and in-game dialogue. Through this, the game explores themes such as self-discovery, identity, and the dangers of unchecked power, everything you'd want to see in a cyberpunk game. The game's minimalist approach to storytelling leaves you wanting more, and it's one of the elements that has made the game so enticing to many players. Overall, Ruiner is an excellent game that offers dazzling cyberpunk setting, challenging gameplay, and a captivating story. If you're a fan of the genre, or just looking for a thrilling action game to sink your teeth into, Ruiner is definitely one to check out. Number four, Bluefire. Bluefire is a 3D platformer action adventure game developed and published by Roby Studios. The game is set in a dark and mystical world where the player takes on the role of a young warrior named Umbra, who's on a quest to uncover the secrets of her forgotten past. The gameplay in Bluefire is composed of a mix of puzzle solving, combat and platforming challenges, and players must explore vast and interconnected levels, battling enemies, collecting coins and unlocking new abilities and upgrades as they progress. One of the defining features of Bluefire is its unique art style, which blends together elements from traditional 3D modeling and cell shading for a look that is both visually striking and immersive. Additionally, the soundtrack of the game, which features a mix of atmospheric and orchestral tracks, helps to create an eerie and mysterious atmosphere that perfectly complements the game's settings. Overall, Bluefire is a visually stunning and challenging game that appeals to the fans of 3D platformers and action-adventure games alike. With its engaging story, imaginative world building, and unique gameplay mechanics, Bluefire is sure to keep players coming back for more. One thing I would like to note though, is the game doesn't have the tightest of character controls and definitely has some of that uh, indie feel. From the lackluster menu, including the buggy input mappings, unfriendly resolution settings, and a lack of any audio settings whatsoever. Minor quirks aside though, and going in with the understanding that you will be encountering some annoying deaths due to the basic character controller, Bluefire is a fun experience in a wonderfully styled world. I only mention these more negative points in this game as it's a genre that I'm greatly fond of, and I'm all too familiar with the quirks that can otherwise prove to be the most detrimental and potentially a big turnoff for some players. Number three, 
the Super 1-1 Challenge. This is a fun and exciting game that challenges players to complete a level inspired by the classic 2D platformer Super Mario Bros. In this game, players must navigate their way through a variety of obstacles and enemies to collect coins and power-ups. The game features colourful graphics and a catchy soundtrack that is sure to keep players engaged and entertained throughout their gaming experience. This is a simple yet fun freebie to grab from itch.io, developed by Sean Noonan and has recently received some updates including extra features and general improvements. Whether you're a fan of the source of the inspiration or not, this is one that's worth downloading to simply explore the level design and discover all of the secrets. The design's amazing and seeing Mario from a first person perspective with a cartoony gun is just awesome. Number two, SA Proxy. This is a slick, stylish, and brutal 3D cyberpunk shooter. Located in a dystopian future, you'll experience the intertwined stories of three different characters, each with their own abilities, playstyles, strengths, and weaknesses. Kill or die, learn and repeat before you unveil the secrets of SA Proxy. Take the role of several characters united by a series of past and future events, each with their own abilities, strengths, and weaknesses face a brutal, high-octane yet strategic combat. One missed shot or one misstep can be the end of you. SA Proxy offers a hard yet rewarding difficulty. This game looks to have been heavily inspired by games like Hotline Miami, so potentially an interesting grab for fans of those games just looking for more. One thing I have noticed when checking the reviews is that a lot of the negative feedback seems to be focused around the short length of the game rather than the quality of the mechanics, the, the writing or anything like that. So that may be something to keep in mind if that sort of thing is important to you. Personally, this is one I'm looking forward to trying out. If a game can offer a fun experience for even a short period of time, I'd prefer that to having it padded out and potentially getting boring just for the sake of playtime. And number one, Hi-Fi Rush. Feel the beat as a wannabe rock star Chai and his ragtag team of ally rebels against an evil robotics enhancement megacorp with raucous rhythm combat. From Tango Gameworks, the studio behind The Evil Within and Ghostwire Tokyo, Hi-Fi Rush is an all new action game where the characters, world and combat stylishly sync to the music. Labelled as defective after a shady corporate experiment mistakenly fuses a music player to his heart, Chai must now fight for his freedom in a slick animated world where everything from platforming puzzles, enemy attacks and even the colourful gags and banter are synced to the beat. Take on armies of corporate drones in satisfying rhythm amplified combat, time your moves to pull off flashy beat hits, hard hitting special abilities and even combination attacks with your allies. And if you wanted to show off you can go even further and tap into the beat to amp up your skills and earn those covetous S rank scores. Basically meaning that you can play and complete the game even if you have no sense of rhythm but if you wanted to get really into that side of things you can go for those higher scores. Now this one goes against pretty much all of my rules for these videos. It's from a fairly large studio backed by a much larger publisher and hitting incredible sales figures within its launch window. The only thing that was small about Hi-Fi Rush was the marketing leading up to the release being almost completely non-existent. However, those points aside, I've chosen to include the game in this list as it's such a great example of what can be made in Unreal whilst not having that standard Unreal Engine feel to it. This was actually to the extent that I've only recently discovered this week that the game wasn't made using Unity, which was my initial assumption. I already have this game waiting in my library backlog and I can't wait to play it as the style brings back memories of my favourite gaming era with entries like Sonic Adventure 2, Jet Set Radio and Crazy Taxi. The, the style in the artwork really has that kind of vibe going for it. Profession. Rockstar. Future Rockstar. <laughs> 